So we, we know your organization is called Coats for Man Above, and basically you collect winter coats for the homeless and give them directly to the homeless. Can you tell us how you started the organization and why you started it? Yes, um, eight years ago, another firefighter, his name is Mike McGuire, uh, said to me, all right, how about if we collect coats at the firehouse and we'll give them to Anton? So we did, uh, we collected about 75 coats, brought them to Anton's, and we thought we were the biggest thing on the planet, to bring 75 coats to Anton's. But we got there, and the guy said, just put them in the back. Well, there were more than 3,000 coats in a pile, and I'm like, oh my God. So Anton's distributed them all over, I think, Massachusetts, maybe even beyond. But we wanted to make sure that it got right to the community of Lowell. So the second year we did it at the firehouse. And every year since, we have got more and more, gotten more and more coats. So last year, and this, this past winter, uh, last year we collected 900 coats. This past year, somewhere between five and 700 coats. And we ran out of winter coats this year. So my friend, is the general manager at Alan Mellon Dodge. Alan Mellon Dodge bought the winter coats that we needed for five kids. The reason why, um, the reason why we're continuing to a penny drive now this year for winter coats for next year is I want to try, with the help of Local 853 and anyone who wants to help us, um, all the schools in the city of Lowell are going to receive at least 10 coats for each school. I, we, need to, we need to collect more than $9,000 to make that happen. It's going to happen. Explain the reaction of the homeless when you give them their own coat to keep. Like what emotions do they show like, on their face? Um, they walk out the door thankful. One of the girls who took a coat two years ago works at Market Basket on uh, Fletcher, the corner of Fletcher and Broadway Street. We go in there to get our food for dinner for the firehouse. Every time she sees us, she thanks us for the winter coat. Then she'll say, and I pass the word on to everyone else that I know, and I encourage that. I encourage people to pass the word. I don't want these coats to sit for another winter. I want them to be out there on people's backs where they're going. You've been helping people your whole life. Has anyone ever returned a favor to you? Yeah, that's why I do it. Um, I was um, one of 13 children. Uh, my dad not only and mom raised 13 of us, my dad coached Little League for 44 years. Mom, um, there's a song, The Christmas Shoes. That's my mom. So, like, if you run out of coast to give away, like you did this past year, like, what, what do you, like, what does that feel? What does it, how does that make you feel about it? Uh, well, it happened this year. So, um, the feeling was. Uh, well, what happened was around, we give the coats away on a Saturday, so it's five hours, nine to two. Around one o'clock, a woman was leaving with her two kids, and I said, did you find a coat? And she said, no, we found a couple of sweatshirts. I said, that doesn't work for me. So I took their names, their sizes, um, three other kids from another family didn't get coats, took their names and sizes. I had them come by the firehouse the following Sunday. Uh, between that time from Saturday till the next Sunday, um, we purchased five brand new coats for the kids. Um, we meaning um, the money came from uh, Alan Mello Dodge. I went out and picked up the coats. I even asked the kids uh, what kind of coats they had. Uh, two of them said uh, sports. One got a Bruins jacket and one got a, a Red Sox jacket. Um, that's the main reason why the penny drive going to work. We're going to let these kids, the kids that are on the list for the coats, they'll go to the store with their parents, pick out their own coat, and leave. We'll pay the bill at the end of the day. That's cool. All right, well, that's all the
questions we have. Thank you for your time and welcome. You're a very good man. Thanks. The reason why I do this, I just want to say, um, my friends made me who I am. 